Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. So today is going to be my top five house plants of February. And if you are new to my channel or you haven't seen my top five house plants of the month, I do these videos to keep you guys updated on my plants because I do my monthly plant hauls. And so I just like to keep you guys updated on how my plants are doing. So we are going to get started with the first plant here on the top five of February. And the first plant is going to be this um, goldfish plant. So I did purchase this goldfish plant, I think it was at Lowe's, and it was in um, this little pot here, um, this little nursery pot. And it was um, super small, it was $3.98. And um, I just love goldfish plants. I did have a really huge goldfish plant that would um, bloom for me like every single week or every other week. And unfortunately, it got milly bugs and it just got so bad to the point I couldn't keep it under control and I couldn't save the plant. So I did have to um, throw it away. But... Um, I do have this one and it is growing. It's not nearly as big as my goldfish plant. So I am on um, the hunt for a full size goldfish plant just because I was like my one of my favorite plants. Um, but I'm so happy that I have this one. It is growing um, a lot. All this little um, growth here on the end is new. And when it does grow out new, it does have like these really uh, purple or maroon underside to the leaves. Um, and then when they, you know, it's a more mature plant, you can see that the leaves aren't um, as um, vibrant or they're not, you know, this maroon color. But um, I love this plant. I love it a lot. I'm so um, pleased with it this month. And um, so that is my number one on my top of February. So the next plant that I'm going to show you um, is a plant that I love. It is probably my favorite plant ever. Um, but this plant I got from, I think it was, I think it was Steve's Leaves or maybe Logies. I can't remember. But it is um, the reverted arrowhead. So um, it does have these solid green leaves and because it's reverting back to the green um, but on the top here it does have new growth and it does have um, a variegated leaf but then this one here is um, just unfurling and it looks to be solid green so most of them are solid green there are only two three, three variegated leaves on this plant. Um, so that one there, and then there is this one here. But um, I'm totally happy with it. Um, I knew when I bought it that it was, um, you know, reverted and it would probably go back to solid green leaves at some point, which I'm totally fine with because I do have my, um, variegated syngonium arrowhead plant back here um, that is doing awesome so I'm okay with this plant being green um, so that is another plant here on my top five of February okay so the next plant I'm going to show you I'm pretty sure I did feature this on another top five of I don't know a past month growth, you guys. Um, when I first bought this plant it was in a super small, um, probably, I would say a three inch um, pot from Walmart and it was small. It was really small. And now it is this big. Plant. So, and when I purchased it at Walmart, I was iffy about it and it was, um, you know, just a couple of bucks. So I thought, why not get it? If it dies, it dies. But let me try it out. Is this um, Maranta? So this thing, when I bought it, it was um, in a very small pot. And like I said, I did uh, pick it up at Walmart. Um, I think it maybe had six leaves when I purchased it. 
and this plant will not stop growing like it is it's it um, grew all throughout the winter um, and it is still growing I mean it has new growth um, you know right here it has a new one coming out here it's just um, it's constantly growing and not only is it constantly growing um, it does bloom often very often for me um, so this plant even though I was super afraid to um, to get it because I thought I was just going to kill it, um, it does awesome. And it sits in my um, on my bamboo shelf near my south facing window and it does get um, probably a good six hours of indirect sunlight and I think that it really enjoys that. So um, this is another plant here on my top five house plants of February. Okay, so the next plant um, I'm going to show you is this lipstick plant. And this plant um, is a little bit finicky. Um, it will tell me when it needs water because I don't know if you can see it. I just watered it, but the leaves get a little bit wrinkled. So that's how I know when it's time to water this plant. But as you can see, it is in bloom. And here's one of um, the blooms and then this is what it looks like when it's um, doesn't have the red the red lipstick part coming out yet um, it does have you know several blooms all over this plant and um, it did start trailing and I do still have it um, in the nursery pot that I bought it in and um, just because it seems to be doing okay in here and I can hang it um, so it does hang by my south facing window and I will show you guys um, you know pictures of where all these plants sit in my house just so you can get an idea but um, I did get this one for $12.99 I believe it was at Desert Horizons Nursery I'm pretty sure um, but this plant I've been loving it um, I've I just love watching it because it does bloom often and it is one of my top five house plants in the month of February. Okay, so this last plant that I'm going to show you on my top five house plants of February, I did get this plant last month, but it has been doing so awesome. And I'm super proud because I really can't keep these plants alive. I'm not good with peperomia, and this plant has just been growing. Um, like crazy so um, I had to show you guys this plant I had to show you how it was doing just because it has all this new growth and it just continues to grow um, it seems to be doing great it does sit um, near my grow light so I think that has a lot to do with it um, I'm trying to um, figure out the watering but it seems to be doing fine I have had this plant for probably a month and it I've had it over a month. It's probably been like maybe six weeks and it seems to be doing great. Um, I think I've watered it maybe twice. No, I've watered it three times now and um, I don't give it too much water, but it seems to be liking um, whatever I am doing for it. So this is the last plant here on my top five house plants of um, February and I like I said I did get this plant um, last month at Lowe's so if you guys missed the um, my plant haul from Lowe's when I picked this plant up I will link it above just so you guys can um, watch that video if you're interested but this is my peperomia super proud of it and um, I can't wait to watch it I hope that it trails and it's um, you know it trails like super long and it's really lush so I'll keep you guys updated on this plant but and again if you guys have watched any of my top five house plants of the month um, you would know that I always feature one plant that is just not doing so good so this plant I had high hopes for it um, just because I purchased one in the past and I kind of figured out what I was doing wrong with it and that one died. So then I purchased another one and I was like, okay, um, you know, I got the watering down. It needs bright light. Like I thought that I had everything down. 
but obviously I didn't because this is what it looks like. So it did have three um, stalks in here when I first bought it. And it had a lot more leaves than this when I first bought it. And if you guys are asking and you don't know what this sad plant is, it is the um, Pilea peperomoides, if I'm saying that right. Um, so I did buy this, it was 20 bucks at Lowe's. And at first it, was, it seemed to be doing okay. I do have it sitting um, in my, on my shelf closest to my south facing window so I thought it was getting enough light and this is what it looks like. So um, I do notice that it's you know at the very very top it does have some new growth um, coming up. Um, the other stalks just totally died and they got really um, mushy. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong with these plants, but I kind of want to buy another one, but I kind of don't. Um, just because if it's going to look like this, I really don't, um, I don't want to kill another plant. And I don't want to buy another plant if I know that I'm not good with them. So um, we'll see. We'll see what happens if I see another plant. Um, and my heart tells me to buy it, I will, but um, right now I'm leaning towards no just because this is what it looks like. And um, I just can't bring myself to throw it away just because I see a new, something new growing on the top. So this is my sad plant of the month. And um, also I do keep you guys updated on my sad plants of the month. Um, Last year, I did a recap at the very end of the year on all the sad plants of the month. But I think this year I will do, uh, maybe like in July or August, I will show you the plants from the previous months. And then I will um, update you guys again in December for the rest of the sad plants. So if you guys are interested in um, following this plant and seeing how it does, uh, maybe July, August. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss um, the video. But um, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank you guys so much for commenting. I really do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to be here with me. If you guys like the top five of the month, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more plant videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, guys, bye.